You have probably seen this image. It's become all but a, a political meme. A Joe a Manchin behind Chuck Schumer with his head in his hands uh, because in the middle of that, Chuck Schumer was uh, bashing Republicans on the debt crisis, particularly Mitch McConnell. Now, keep in mind, whatever you think of Mitch McConnell, he did strike a deal. Some say he did blink on this issue of the debt ceiling, but that's a hell of a thank you because he's throwing it right back at Mitch McConnell. Not surprisingly, McConnell comes back to say, you know what, I don't know if I'll help you in December. So the nastiness ensues. Shock of shocks. David Benson joins us at the Benson Group. We've got Gary Kalpom, Kalpom Capital Management, the president there. David, the markets are panicking about it. As of yet, they don't seem to be showing it. Um, you know, they always know we get close to the brink. Someone cobbles together a deal to, to get us to the next brink, etc. Uh, what do you think will motivate, uh, you know, Wall Street then in these next couple of months. I mean, we got a couple of months here with this deal to get by on $480 billion, which used to be the entire budget of the United States. But that aside, um, what, what do you think is going to be sort of moving the needle here? Well, I think that you and Gary are talking about two different things, right? Gary's talking about the concern of the long-term debt accumulation in the country, a concern I very much share with Gary. And you're referring to the short-term concerns about are they going to get through the debt ceiling issue? I honestly believe, Neil, that's a concern only for the media and for the po politicos that get away with making extreme statements. Nobody in America really believes they're going to default on the debt. No one believes they're going to actually And by the way, nobody in America, to your point, and maybe this is sad, maybe it's a reflection of our time, uh, is the debt on a top 10 list of issues that concern them. And I wonder what you make of that. No, oh, I, I think that the government spending is, and that's the only sort of um, uh, vernacular I would change from Gary's. I'm, of course, concerned about the debt, but the debt is a reflection of the size of government. And that's what people are concerned about, that the larger the spending level is, whether they were trying to pay for it or not, the only way they can pay for it is by taxing more. So the, the spending it means larger government, which means a smaller citizenry, smaller private sector, smaller productivity, less growth growth. This is 13 years now, 13 years since the financial crisis that we have not been able to get our growth level back to trend line, a trend that was in place for 50 years. That is because of the government spending, crowding out the private sector and enabling things to continue that shouldn't be able to continue. It's highly distortive to the economy, Neil.